This is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 10 of the Elder Scrolls Online on the Xbox Series X. The High Isle Collector's Edition, no less people. We are exactly where we were at the end of the last part. And we're going to head off to... Well, we're on the quest of People of Import. And we're going to head off to Steadfast Manor. Inventory's pretty clear at the minute. And there will be bandits outside this door. I yeah we could just run away from them to be fair or sneak sneak round them <laughs> there's always one isn't there I know what's gonna happen I'm gonna get his health right down and they'll just run back up the hill Alright, maybe I don't know what's going to happen. Hey, the lighthouse, look. It's beaming. We did that. The lighthouse gloweth once again. Really? <laughs> well, that wasn't part of the plan. <laughs> fucking hellfire. This is getting a bit... That fucking thing, as if it can fire at bloody fire around corners. What's going on? What the fuck is happening, people? That was outrageous. Fucking hellfire. And I can't... I can't uh, revive here because I don't have a filled soul gem. Well, that's the first time we've died in a wee... Well, in a couple of parts. But it was a pretty massive fight the last time I died, before that time. Fog standard enemies, there was just too many of them. Vass is a das. Elder Tide Vine Caller. Oh, they're just standard enemies, I think. Not sure what they're doing with that thing, though. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, what the hell?
Received an empty soul gem to fill it. Uh, use the soul trap ability at an enemy's moment before their death. Yeah. Not been using that, have I? Says above, though, doesn't it? Steadfast Manor Way Shrine discovered. Lovely. You there? Can we speak for a moment? A hey, not yet. I want to help Lady Arabelle, but I'm concerned for the safety of my retainers. My associate might be able to help in that regard, Lord Bacaro. Lady Arabelle asks about the nobility, while two of my retainers are missing. The Society of the Steadfast will do whatever is necessary to keep its people safe. Uh, she mentioned the Ascendant Order might be involved. Do you think that's possible? Well, we do think it's possible, my friend, yes. We know the Ascendant Order has been attacking people across High Isle. Yes, I understand that you and Lady Arabelle have tangled with these brigands before. They claim to be knights, but they have no honor. Will you do as Lady Arabelle suggested and look for my retainers? I would consider it a personal favor. Where are your retainers headed? I sent Grenier and Denise to retrieve a shipment from the Navir docks, but I expected them back ages ago. They were traveling the road to the south. I just pray no evil befell them. The supplies we can lose, but good people are irreplaceable. I'll look for your missing retainers. Thank you, my friend. I'll confer with Lady Arabelle while we await your return. I'll tell her everything I know about the nobility of High Isle, if she really thinks that will help. I knew peace would be hard to achieve, but I never expected a war. Yes, yeah, okay. Sorry about the green glow. I've no idea what I've done to myself, but anyway. It's, it looks like it's a good thing. A looks like it's that way, doesn't it? Lost another one. What could it be? Well, looks like a armory of some description. Well, not an armory, a blacksmith or something. Hammer and saw discovered.
I don't actually remember picking that up. I don't seem to have all the things that I need in order to make a bow. A jewellery crafting station. Skill line gain, jewellery crafting. Jewellery crafter unlocked. To begin crafting, jewellery crafters must refine raw materials. Collect 10 raw materials, such as pewter dust. Select them and press A to assign them to a refinement slot. Press X to refine. Oh, yeah, yeah, the same again. Well, we could do that. Yeah, so I think I'm going to have to have a good look into that off-camera at some point. Well, it does seem like we're close. We've got the bandits back. Well, that went rather well. To whoever finds this, ambush knights in unmarked livery, no house emblems. They were waiting for us, tried to fight, but there was too many. Denise, or Dennis, got away. She ran south, but to of those murderers chased after her. The rest looted our wagon. Don't understand. Lord Beccaro, Lord Beccaro was sure the road to Castle Navaya was safe. Can't hang on much longer. Tell my... Ugh. A scrap of frayed cloth torn from a garment. Tracks lead south away from where it was found. 
follow the tracks. Uh, okay. Lots of spriggans are in these parts. Yeah, we've been, we've, been, we've been in this cave before of another quest, have we not? Yeah, Breakwater Cave. Thought it looked familiar. Delve into the depths of the caves. Still not quite sure why we're glowing, people. Big Badger was going to be here. Bastard yet. Night Rochelle. Tomorrow morning, a wagon escorted by two society, two society of the steadfast retainers will travel to Steadfast Manor from the docks at Castle Nevaya. 
Take your knights and set up an ambush along the road. You are to kill the two retainers, a man named Grenier Gren and a woman named Danny's. They have seen things they should not have seen and must be eliminated. Confiscate the wagon's load for use by the order. Any other spoils are yours to keep. But remember, the retainers are your mission, not the supplies. There are several good spots to conceal your knights between Castle Navaya and Steadfast Manor. I'm sure you will pick up suitable sight. Right, out we go then before this badger respawns. <laughs> Just to go back again, aren't we? In fact, I'm pretty sure we've got a way shrine for Steadfast Manor or near there. Well, there's Steadfast Manor. Steadfast Manor way shrine. Thank you. You there! Can we speak for a moment? You return alone? I take it the news is not good. Grenier and Denise were not just retainers. They were friends. The Steadfast shall miss them, and so shall I. Please, tell me what happened. Your retainers were killed. I found these orders from Ascendant Magus. Grenier and Denise were helping arrange a banquet at Castle Navir. Then they were to collect the supplies and return here. What could they have seen that would cost them their lives? The banquet is just to welcome our royal guests to the island. Grenier wrote this note before he died. He tried to fight back. The Ascendant Order. Plundering steadfast supplies and killing our retainers. Damn. It was brave of Grenier to try to fight back, but foolish. The supplies weren't worth their lives. We suspect a wealthy noble may be funding the Ascendant Order. So Lady Arabelle informed me. I hesitate to accuse anyone, but perhaps you should join me at Castle Navir. All the nobles of High Isle would be there, and if my retainers did see something at the castle, perhaps you can determine what that was. All right, I'll meet you at Castle Navia. Duchess Elea of House Dufort is hosting the banquet. She's decided to go ahead and throw the party, even though our guests of honor are still missing. Go to Castle Navia's courtyard. Introduce yourself when you arrive. Be discreet, please. Why hold the banquet without the guest of honour? Duchess Elea wants to project confidence, especially in light of the current situation. Rumours travel swiftly in the archipelago. The people need to believe we have things under control. I expected to pay a ransom and have the delegates back by now. 
Lady Arabelle mentioned that some of the nobles opposed the peace talks. Ridiculous. No one opposes peace. It's just that some of the nobles questioned if this were the right time and place. A Duchess Alea, for example, didn't want to bring the mainland's troubles to High Isle. Not without hope our efforts would bear fruit. Did anyone else feel that way? Count Leonard of House Mornard enjoys brisk profits by supplying all sides in the war. He doesn't want that to end too abruptly. Especially not in a way that makes Elea and House Dufort look good. He detests that she decided to host the talks. It sounds like House Dufort and House Mornard are rivals. Rivals and partners. House Mornard built its wealth on trade. They rely on House Dufort ships to carry their goods. But the two families have long vied with each other for primacy. The Mornards resent the fact that the Duforts rule High Isle. Tell me more about Society of the Steadfast. My family has always believed that wealth is meant to foster good works. When the three alliances went to war, I made the decision to do whatever I could to help common folk caught in their violent wake. So I started the Society of the Steadfast. What does the Society do exactly? We're not a religious organization per se, but we do take inspiration from the teachings of Stendar. We establish healing centers and other works to show compassion and mercy to those touched by this terrible war. Soldiers and commoners both. And you do that here on the Isle? We're a small society that mostly works near the battlefields of Cyrodiil. I did turn a portion of my estate on High Isle into a healing center. We bring the badly wounded here to recuperate. The peace talks naturally grew out of our other efforts. Why is Duchess Alea holding the banquet without the guests of honour? I've already, I've already done that. Onward. It's a shame the Ascended Order got to Lord Bacaro's retainers before you could. What could they have seen that warranted their deaths? Perhaps we'll learn more at Castle Navir, although I'm certainly not in the mood for a party. Well, there's always time for a little tipple, surely, you know what I mean? Lord Bacaro says several nobles will be in attendance. And our missing guests of honour will no doubt be the main topic of discussion. This is a chance to listen, as well as ask questions. Make sure you speak to Alea de Fort, Demar de Fort, and John Menard. They'll be the most important nobles present. Do you suspect them? Until we know more, I suspect everybody. But if any of the nobles are funding the Ascendant Order, I think it likely that it's one of the grand families of High Isle. That means House Dufort or House Monard. Either way, we'll know more soon. Who are Alea Dufort, Damard Dufort, and John Mornard? Alea is the Duchess of House Dufort, a nominal ruler of High Isle. Damard is her brother and a count. John Menard is the highest ranking noble of House Menard, currently on High Isle. He's Count Leonard's cousin, representing House interests here. Marvellous, right, onward. Well, there is a little bit of an argument that says do a little bit of side questing. I do feel like we're pushing on the main story at the moment constantly, so. We could speak to this little chappy out here. We still have some side missions, right enough. Talk to a Cesar. These are all from the beginning. We could do with clearing those up, I suppose. Soul Shriven in Cold Harbour. Talk to the hooded figure. That was Jakan's contract in that other area. Talk to Gladas in Brackenleaf. And Thoris was and Thoris was in the other area as well, I think. Go to Castle Navur is the one with Yeah, I think that one is back in the main area at the beginning. It 
let's do a little bit of mopping up before we take anything else on, otherwise it's just a bloody mess, isn't it? Hey. Well, I feel like it's inside. But I could be wrong about that. It's up there anyway. I know we'll all be drawing blades together soon enough. Now, what can I tell you? Can dump quest at any time anyway, I suppose. You mentioned a singular purpose. Right. Our new guildmaster is an Argonian, sees all colours. She has us all hunting down the Daedra and their damned anchors. You might have seen them. Enormous chains, plagues of Daedra boil out to lay waste to the countryside. Hard fights. What do I get in return? There's a good question. We train our members in special techniques, and the higher-ups are always looking for motivated members to help with special projects. You never know, you might be the next Yofnir. Yeah, I can't... The thing is, I can't... I don't think I can dump this quest. Well, I can dump the quest, I suppose. I didn't really want to f join the Fighters Guild, particularly. Surely I want to join another guild that's to do with my class. Then let me be the first to officially welcome you as an associate of the Fighters Guild. Get out there and take the fight to the Daedra. Alright, okay. Well, that was easier than I thought. Skill line gained. Fighters Guild. Achievement unlocked. Associate of the Fighters Guild. Talk to Coronur. Those are all the guilds then, I assume. Always good to speak with another knowledge seeker. Guildmaster Vanus will be pleased. What can you tell me about the Mages Guild? We're book hunters of a sort. We seek out new information, capture it in our libraries. Uh, what do we get in return? We provide training in unique spells and abilities only available to members. Okay. Excellent. You are now a student of the Mages Guild. Every book you find will now earn you reputation in the Guild. Yeah, you see. I should have just taken all these earlier on. I thought I was having to make a choice, but I wasn't. I, uh, I think I've got... Yeah, so what were these blue ones up here, then? There's three guys with blue arrows on them as well. Somewhere about... You look strong and brave, or at least capable, and resourceful. Did I mention that? Can I interest you in a job that involves much danger and requires a small group to complete? Ah, oh, right. Good, I assure you. Okay, that's to do with group fighting, I think. 
And I'm on me Todd, so we're not going to do that, I don't Welcome, think. Welcome, adventurer. If you're looking for work and prefer to handle jobs on your own, you've come to the right broker. Ah, there we go. Just let me know if you're interested. Brilliant. A society of the steadfast advocate needs someone to investigate a small island off the western coast of Aminos. Prisoners she represented have disappeared from the Aminos stockade. She thinks they were sent to the island to die. What do I need to do exactly? Go to Whalefall, determine if she's right, and bring back evidence of the prisoners sent there. If we can start compiling a list of the prisoners and match it to those missing, that will help a lot. Anything else? Talk to Advocate in a Waldwin. I'll see what I can find. Be careful out there. More than one adventurer has underestimated the dangers of our fair archipelago. Return to me when the job is complete and your pay will be waiting. Who pays for these jobs, by the way? That depends on who requests the work. Personally, I am an employee of House Dufort. They more or less run things here on High Isle. But I represent merchants, knightly orders, and wealthy individuals who require help and have the gold to pay. Right, I'm supposed to be clearing them up, not uh, getting more. Talk to Advocate in Walden. There's never enough time in the day for it. You've a determined air about you, stranger. Could I persuade you to help deal with the active volcanic vents that are popping up across the islands? I think that's the big fight I uh, ended up in. Volcanic activity on the island seems to be reaching dangerous levels. If something isn't done to quell the forces at work, we're all going to be swimming in lava. The Stone Lore Circle Druids are trying to stop it, but we need help. What can I do? Get to the active volcanic vent and disrupt the activity there. It will buy us time, but be careful. There are many molten beasts crawling all over the place. You'll need a group to get through them. What do you say? I'll make it worth your while. No, thank you, because I don't have a group. Well, I'm pretty sure that one that we're on, the Prisoner Problems one, wants us to go to another place, doesn't it? What do you want? Aye, that wants me to go to another place, that quest, so I think we'll leave that one for now. The hooded figure, where's this one? That could be in another place as well, to be fair to it. Yes, why do I feel like this is leading me to a boat as well? I Yeah, there's quite a few of those quests have come from the other area, haven't they? That's Castle Nevaya. That's somewhere else. Yeah, they're all somewhere else apart from Castle Nevaya or Castle Nevaya, I should call it. So the question is, where are we going to go? Um, let's see. Boat to Elden Root.
let's just see where I am on this map here. Yeah, up at the top. Just seem to be that way, doesn't it? So much time in the Valen, were they? Haven't happened upon Shameful. one of the blood swilling This is not the Dominion we were promised. That... Your people are held very close to the heart of the Dominion, where they will remain for quite a time. Does that about sum up your sentiment, Genboril? Um, yes. Completely unacceptable. If this is what Queen Irene thinks of us, we should go back to elsewhere. Elusara La. What do you mean? When we joined the Dominion, Queen Irene promised to build us an embassy worthy of our stature. Today, these wagons are our embassy. I went to petition King Camorin Aragon for aid, but the lines in his throne room, they were endless. I suppose I could try tomorrow. I could bring a message to the king? Truly? Here, this letter outlines our grievances. If you would bring it to the king, we would be in your debt. Unless you wish to help pull termites from our embassy. I'll deliver the letter. To go back on one's word is a serious thing. If Queen Irene cannot construct an embassy, how can she build the Dominion? Okay, um, pretty sure I've just kicked off a main quest. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you build your own embassy? We can do this, of course. But this is about Queen Irene's word. If she cannot get her people to aid us with a simple building, how can we trust them to support us on the field of battle? So we wait. And we see. I did, yes. But I don't know exactly what that means. Have they been welcomed? Or will they be refugees forever? You should go to the Grey Mire and see for yourself. Do I can look after your face. Yes, yes, my vision no dream speaks true. You are the one, my mission. Don't mind picking up the main quest storyline, I suppose. Just stick them on hold for now. Bit of a change of scenery, this one. I'm wondering if I could have teleported closer to this thing, actually. Oh, hello. Fucking hell, it looked like a bloody cyclops or something. Ego. Uh, mm, that's very high up. Uh, Should have stuck to road, shouldn't I? Out. 
Now I want to be careful here because uh, yeah, look, that I ended up in that place the night before, and I ended up just in a massive bloody fight. Yeah, pretty sure Haven's where I went to go. And everyone just kept trying to kill me. What the shit? It's way over here. Be better off teleporting to there and uh, trying to make my way to. It was to do with this boat, I think, wasn't it? Scout Linny Mondil. Passage between Oridon and Grotwood. I have a deal with some privateers. They'll take us across the lane free of charge. Say the word and I'll row us out to meet them. Yeah. Sure, go on. Pretty sure we came here before, didn't we? I feel like I came here at one point, and it's possibly not been recorded. Because I did a load of wandering about, not realising how to get around the map properly. But it still says talk to the hooded figure though. So where the bloody hell is that? Yeah, I don't understand. It now says, above, talk to the hooded figure. So maybe I've spoken to the wrong person here. Don't think so, though. But it does seem to suggest that the talk to the hooded figure quest is over there. And this is where it gets really sodding confusing. Soul shriven in Cold Harbor. Need passage between Oridon and Grotwood? I have a deal. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense because the, the marker's now on her. No pirate will make it past me. It makes little sense, people. It doesn't mean... Like, I don't understand. Like, she's the quest to say, talk to the hooded figure. Need passage between Oridon and Grotwood. And then we go to Oridon, and then the marker says it's over there. Which is... Well, unless it's actually on that island or something over there. But is that not where we just came from? Hmm. 
probably a better way to get over here, I'm sure. Baranim Isle discovered. Necklace of the Twin Sisters, by me. Might be worth having a look at. Hmm. Stamina recovery goes up. And stamina. Yes. Not sure about that one. bloody talk to the hooded figure. I don't even know how I've picked this quest up now. <laughs> it's like, who the hell have I ended up out here? And this quest's been on my list for bloody ages. There is a, a building up there, I suppose. genuinely don't feel like I'm getting any closer to this white bloody arrow, people. Well, Sil Salen discovered at least. Thought they were the people. <laughs> Fucking hell. Really? Send it ablaze. I feel like I'm on a merry dance here, people, I really do. I feel like it's one of those where it's not even on the bloody island or something. Yeah, it's got travel on it, look. It's taking me to a boat. I 
and this is where it got really confusing off camera at one point and I've, I, I, I think I ended up deleting the footage I'd recorded because it was just me getting lost over and over again. I don't know how a quest can be so hard to find, it's just ridiculous. We're not back to where we started. But he feels like it. Traveler, a moment of your time. Ah, they are here. The hooded figure. My benefactor wishes to speak to you about a matter that could affect the fate of our world. What does your benefactor want? If my benefactor wished to discuss details in the open, why send a messenger? The matter is for your ears only. Fine then. My benefactor awaits nearby. Do not tarry. Okay. Talk to the benefactor. Seems to be down the stairs, isn't it? So we are on the interim suitor. It was a trap. Holy shit. The Wailing Prison. Oh, excuse me, it's dusty in this prison, people. Find a way to escape Cold Harbor. Oh, right, we're in Cold Harbor. Well, it's very kind of it to leave all my uh, arrows and bow and everything with me. Whoa there. Are you all right? The name's Lyris. Nice. You've still got some fight left in you. You're going to need it. I feel like this is one of the other starting points of the game. That we've stumbled onto here. Keep your weapon ready and stay sharp. This place is full of surprises. 
Yeah, I feel like this is possibly some way you can actually start the, the whole game. She's swiping at me for. There are more Daedra on the way. Stop now. Keep moving. More guards are on the way. Defeat the prison guards, yeah. Let's get out of here, my friend. The Prophet. Greetings, Vestige. Like you, I am a prisoner in this place. You must rescue me, and I, in turn, must rescue you. Hold a moment. Come here. We need to talk. The Prophet. He's a prisoner here, too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you, even for a moment. You must think you can help me. Help you do what? Break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. That blind old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. Tamriel's a long way from here. Where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? To the Towers of Eyes. That's where we'll find the Sentinels. The Towers of Eyes. That sounds like a lovely place. Let's go there. What are these sentinels? Magical constructs created by Molag Bal to guide his vision in Cold Harbor. The sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. With any luck, that will buy us the time we need to free the Prophet. How can we destroy it? I have no idea. Brute force? We'll find a way. We have to. Be ready for anything. I doubt Molag Ball left the Sentinels unguarded. I have so many questions. I'm sure you do. And I'll answer them as best I can. But I won't go to ask them. Keep moving. good in a fight thank you my friend the god of brutality knows of your escape Harry Harry who's Harry Okay. By doing what? Brian.
Oh yeah, fucker. That was a bit of a sore one. Actually, sure. Where I'm meant to be going? Oh, here we go. Try to be inconspicuous. We just got free of this place. The last thing we need is to get recaptured. Inconspicuous, sure. While he's blinded, we must get to the Prophet's cell. And where's that? I'm gonna go this way. Oh, you fucker. Shit. <laughs> well, that went not to plan, people. Where the bloody hell am I? There we go. Escape my realm. Hermamora's whacking tone. The door's warded. We'll never get in this way. Damn it. Destroying the Sentinel must have triggered these wards. We'll need to find another way in. Who's Cadwell? Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral. But not Cadwell. He was already insane before he left Tamriel. Mad as a box of frogs, but completely harmless. You'll see. How can a madman possibly help us? Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. To him, Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home. And he knows it like the back of his hand. He's usually down by the river. Let's go find him. Very well. One fine day in the middle of the night. Two dead kings. Hello, what's this? Out for a stroll then? Lovely day for it. <laughs> That's not bloody faulty, Basil Faulty. You must be Cadwell. Uh, well, yes, indeed, a pleasure. And fair Lyris, good to see you, my dear. How are you then? We're trying to get inside the Prophet's cell. The door is sealed. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, that is inconvenient, isn't it? Tell you what, I happen to know another way in. Much more of a scenic route. Rather a fun little jaunt, actually, full of traps and corpses and nasty beasties filling up the bits in between. How do we get through all that? Rather cautiously, I expect. Watch your step, hold your nose, and do mind the traps. They'll like us not be a fair dose of running and skull bashing as well. Where's the entrance? Follow the river. You'll find the door to the Undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light and you'll find a ladder that will take you right up to the Prophet straight away. Do give him my best. Yes, Thank sir. you. Do check in now and again, won't you? Tell me about yourself, Sir Cadwell. Well, there's not much to tell, is there? It's the same old pish-tosh, gallant knight, epic quests, rescued maidens. <laughs> I came to this land when my head was quite unceremoniously separated from my body. Bad luck, that, but uh, you make the best of things. How long have you been here? Oh, quite a long time. In fact, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if I was the oldest of the soul shriven. Of those who didn't go feral, that is. I know every tunnel and path, every nook and cranny. The others look up to me, I suppose. How do you know Lyris? Ah, Lyris. Girls as mad as sheer Gorus jammies. Heart's in the right place, I suppose. Says she's got to rescue the Prophet to save us all from eternal torment. How an old blind man could do that is quite beyond me. What do you know about the Prophet? An Imperial gentleman. Apparently he was once a powerful mage, but the years haven't been kind. 
Lyra says he knows of a path back to Tamriel. I rather think that if one existed, I'd have found it by now. You don't think there's a way to get home? I hadn't actually given it much thought. Uh, anything's possible, I suppose. Truth is, I've been here so long, this place feels like home. But a good uprising now and again is a pleasant diversion, so where's the harm, eh? Marvellous. Onward! Uh, seems to think this Undercroft is a delightful place. Probably means it's a death trap. I better be careful. The sooner you get that door open, the sooner we can get out of here. Ah, uh, okay. Bloody marvellous that was. Getting a whole bunch of experience doing this as well, it seems. Scheming hookers. Scheming hookers? What's going on? <laughs> what are you saying? Well, I think I'm going the right way, but you never know. God of self-punishment. <laughs> Blimey, it's been quite good for a change of pace, isn't it, eh? There's a big old chest over there that I want to have. Eh. I think we'll just leave it. I think I'm carrying a bunch of swords about with me actually, just for selling. Ooh, steady. Steady. Well, this looks ominous. 
The Prophet's cage should be just ahead. Quickly now, we haven't much time. All right, the good news is we made it here in one piece and the Prophet looks unharmed. Now the bad news. It's going to be up to you to keep him safe and get him back to Tamriel. I'm not going with you. There's a trick to opening the cell. The only way for a prisoner to leave is for another living soul to take their place. I need to swap places with the Prophet. There's no other way? Believe me, I wish there was, but I don't see anyone else here with a beating heart, do you? If Molag Bal isn't stopped, he'll destroy everyone and everything we've ever loved. I'm ready when you are. Once it's done, get moving. The Prophet will know where to go, but he'll need your eyes and your protection. No words about the woman that just sacrificed herself. <clears throat> Thank the divines you are safe. There is that at least. There is sacrificed everything that we might go free. Her sacrifice must not be in vain. Can we find a way to take her with us? I wish that were possible. But I promise you, once we escape Cold Harbor, we will find a way to rescue her together, Vestige. Vestige? That is the name I have given you. You are but a trace of your former self, a soulless one, an empty vessel that longs to be filled. It is as the scrolls foretold, but not exactly as I imagined. Why does Lyris call you the Prophet? That is what I've come to be called. My true name is lost, even to me. Years of torment have taken their toll. Quickly now, we must make haste to the Anchor. Anchor? The Anchors are Daedric machines of the darkest magic. Their chains bind our world and pull it towards Cold Harbor. I can use one of these Anchors to return us to Tamriel, but you must lead me to it. All right, stay close then. Up the stairs, quickly. We must get to the anchor mooring. Pretty sure that's the uh, ye old voice of the guy that played Dumbledore. Not Richard Harris, the one after Richard Harris. Michael Gambon? Michael Gambon, I think it was. It's the anchor base. Defeat the child of bones. Oh, go below me. The mortal thinks it can defy me. Futile. Soon your world will be in my chains. Oh, Christ. Come on, then. Let's be having you. I will protect you.
There it goes. A moment. Dark Angus portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But first, you must reattune yourself to Nern in order to regain your physical form. To do this, you will need a sky shard. Sky shard? A shard of ethereal magicka that carries the essence of Nern. Some link them to Lorcan, the missing god of creation. If you collect and absorb its power, it should restore your corporeal form. I will summon one of these shards for you to absorb. I'm ready. Shard of Aetherius, fall upon us now and anoint us with your blessing. There, quickly, collect the sky shard. Yeah, I was picking those up in the land, wasn't I? Well, sucking the force out of them, as it were. Thank you. Great Akatosh, dragon god of time. I require you. Ooh, skill point. Let the way be opened. Let these wandering souls return home. Let the will of Molag Val be denied. Hurry! We must go now. Ooh, hello. Can Arthi's roost? awakens once again. Come here. We must speak. Yeah, where's your corporeal form? As I feared, we arrived in different locations. Ah. I am in a city near the sea, in a land of eternal spring. The air smells of the ocean, and of markets and gardens. It matters not. You have awakened once again, and we must set you on your path. How long was I unconscious? Days, weeks, I cannot tell. The voids between worlds disrupted all sense of time and space. I know only that you were deposited into the sea, and some charitable soul fished you out and brought you to dry land. What should I do now? I'm afraid you will have to decide that for yourself. I must focus on searching for a way to repay Lyris's bold sacrifice. I cannot simply abandon her to the wrath of Molog Ball. When will I see you again? I cannot foresee that. Not yet. But we will meet again. There is still much we need to accomplish. Very well. Seal Dern, one skill point. Skill line, soul magic. Be wary, Vestige. Our very plane of existence is in peril. The threat of Molog Ball looms across all Tamriel and chaos spreads in its shadow. Danger roams the land and will assume many forms. Do not let it catch you off guard. Well, where should I go? You must find your own path, but perhaps there is a reason for the place in which you find yourself. Explore, search for a cause to lend your hand. Join with others. You might even seek out those who rescued you from the sea. The choice is yours. You think there are many who need my help? Indeed. I sense that even now, there are good people near you who face grave danger. They need your assistance, should you be willing to give it. To thwart the will of Molag Val, we must skirmish with evil wherever it rears its head. And there are others who would join this fight with me? We do not face these troubled times alone. Many shall rise up to fight this tide of darkness. Wherever you go, you will encounter others who share your courage and valor. Help them if you can, and enlist their aid if you have need of it. Fare you well. Hey, where the sodding hell am I? Out this door, is it? Eagle Strand. Well, we completed a quest anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's another one of the beginnings that you can pick to the game. It was good, that though. Bit of action. Uh, we have got a point to spend. Not with that button, though. 
not too far away from level 15 where we'll get another two of each points, skill points and whatever the other ones are called again. We could use them to level up our moves right enough. In fact, I might hang on to that point for now. Oh, I've got two points. Good grief. Persuasive will. Allows you to persuade NPCs in conversation. Yeah, I think the only thing we've got really that we can go for is... Uh, oh, there's my ultimate abilities. I can actually get that now. Soul Shred. That's strange, because the last time I looked at the ultimate abilities, it seemed to not allow me to get them until level bloody ridiculous. Was it the bow one that was... Yeah, it was the bow one. So I can get the others. And th yeah, I think somebody actually mentioned this to me in a comment, actually. So thank you to whoever that was. Um... But yeah, I, I think I've missed the fact that I can actually get an ultimate ability from one of the other lines. Not my bow one, but Siphoning and Shadow seem to have one that I can get now. Um, and that goes into LBRB. Conjure a Ring of Shadow, reducing the movement speed of enemies by 70% and granting you and your allies major protection, reducing your damage taken by 10%. L allies in the area can activate the Hidden Refresh Synergy granting them invisibility, increasing their movement speed by 70% and healing them for 16,430 health for 4 seconds. Ooh, hello. Soul Shriven, complete main quest chapter 1. Nice, there was a bit of a delay on that, was there not? Or siphoning. Ravage nearby enemy souls with a knight rune, dealing 6,886 magic damage and stunning them for 4 seconds. An ally can target a ravaged enemy and activate the soul leech's synergy, dealing more damage. Well, it would be stupid not to take one of them, I suppose. Assassination we can't use yet. Yeah, so it's one of those two. Not sure if I prefer the shadow we want. Should we go for that? Consuming darkness. Boom. You purchased an ultimate ability. Ultimate abilities require a special resource called ultimate before you can use it. You gain ultimate by engaging in combat. Once you have enough ultimate, you can use the ultimate ability in combat using LBRB at the same time. Marvellous. Well, Veiled Strike is the one that I use a lot. Well, one of the ones I use a lot. Um, so we could try morphing it. So, all right, it seems to become surprise attack or concealed weapon. Converts to a stamina ability and deals physical damage. Always applied the sundered status effect. Oh, that's Veiled Strike I'm trying to do, that's why. I thought I was confused. Where's my bow ones? Sniper. Sniper's one that I use a lot. I think the one that I'm probably not overly impressed with is the one that's actually scattering all the arrows from the sky. Is it Barrage? Um, much as though it should be helping me a lot, it doesn't seem to do a huge amount of damage. So we could try morphing that. That's Snipe. Lethal Arrow. Deals poison damage and always applies the poison status effect. But it does seem to be a version of the one that I've already got. It's just a new effect on it. Lethal Arrow. Focused Aim. 
increases the range. Enemies who are hit are afflicted with minor breach, reducing their physical and spell resistance. Reduces cost as ability ranks up. What does barrage become? Oh, I can't do that yet. Maybe I'll hold off then. Focus down is pretty decent to be fair. Takes down the physical and spell resistances. Well, it's called Focused Aim now, so here's hoping it does the same sort of job, otherwise I'm going to miss my other one. <laughs> yep. So it's the same, it's just better. belt right well there you go people we've gone way 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 over the normal amount of time <laughs> gone to an hour and a half there people well there you go we need to decide what we're going to do in the next part uh, we've, we've, this is the beginnings of a new story really here so we really want to teleport away from here and crack on with where we were i think but uh might be worth a little investigation before we disappear from it well, there you go, folks. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in the Elder Scrolls Online High Isle Edition. And I shall catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.